In this lecture, we'll be taking a look at how we can create course rules for our Azure APIs. So here you can see that I have an API service created and under APIs, I have got a couple of API defined. The first one is this one and clicking on it, you'll be able to see that for all these operations on top, you can see all operations. So for all these operations that's defined, there's a common tab called all operations. You click on that and then you have this course enabled. How you do that? Go to inbound processing, click on add policy, then you go and say allow cross origin resource sharing. Click on this one. Once you do that, it will come up over here as course policy. Now you can go ahead and edit it like this. And here you can see I've specified some of the origins, methods, get, post, put, delete, head, and then headers as well, like content type and accept. These are the common headers that we sent. And after that, once you are through with this, click on save. So you'll be having your course rules defined over here. Then in the outbound processing, you need to define these two headers. Now the first header is called access control allow origin. And for that, you'll have to specify this value context dot request dot headers dot get value or default. And then you have to remove the origin and then you have to add this origin comma empty string and action should be override. The other one is access control allow credentials as true. So these two outbound processing headers needs to be added as well in order to ensure that your course is enabled properly and you are able to access your API calls from your web functions from your websites. So that was a quick tip on how to enable course in Azure API services.